I just decided to make a little video in case people had trouble. Um, when you first start the simulation, let me reload the web page. Uh, you get this. If you click the green start button, your uh, planet will start orbiting the sun there. And uh, you'll notice that the sun moves. And of course, the planet moves as well. And the sun is not at the circle. I mean, at the center of this circle, and we call this an ellipse. If you stop this and reset, what happens if you angle it this way? Oops, I crashed into the sun. Reset. What if you go in this direction? Oops. What if you do that? It's more of an ellipse. So that shape is called an ellipse, E-L-L-I-P-S-E. -L -L -E. It's not a circle. And so you can play with uh, different things. Uh, you, can, you can actually click here with the mouse. So this, this purple thing has a mass of 10. The uh, yellow thing has a mass of 200. What if we make these both the same mass? I wonder what would happen. Interesting. So these types of systems are called binary stars. Uh, when you have two stars in a solar system um, of equal or somewhat equal mass orbiting one another, um, they have interesting dynamics. And that's seen in astronomy. Let's change that back to 10. And so uh, I'll let you fool around with that. Now, uh, what you can do is look at the sun and the planet the sun, a planet, and a moon. I assume that uh, one of these is the Earth. I don't know. Let's, let's just start that, okay? So very strange here. What's going on? Well, the if you look at the blue ball, it's rotating or orbiting the purple one. So that's like the moon going around the Earth. But keep in mind that the Earth is going around... Uh, the sun, and so you have this like strange thing, all right? Um, let me see what these other things do. I don't know. All right, so let's see. Here's your binary star, and, and what do we have here? A planet. So there's a star, and there's a star, and then we have a planet in the middle. Um, so this light blue colored thing is a planet that's orbiting this yellow star and there's an also purple star in the system that's causing a rather chaotic motion okay so this is a stable solar system with a, a strange planet strange dynamics okay what about a slingshot so here's something and here's something let's start this what's going on here Oops. So you may have heard about uh, Trojan planets. Planets normally have a star that they're associated with, and they, you know, orbit around the star. But every once in a while, a planet is ejected into outer space out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, that can happen if a large mass comes by it, and it just causes it to sling out of the... Uh, solar system we call that a slingshot and that planet will now just be wandering around the solar system and maybe it'll be a comet and captured by some other solar system in the future uh, so double slingshot ellipses well i'm just showing you how to use the tool i'll just uh you know, let you explore from there. Oh, here's asteroids, Trojan asteroids. Trojan asteroids are asteroids that uh, are not in the asteroid belt in between Mars and Jupiter. They are within uh, nearby Earth. Okay, so I'm not sure which one of these is Earth, but the purple is the very light mass uh, asteroid, and they're all overlapping each other there, and they're in a somewhat stable uh, orbit. Hopefully an asteroid does not hit Earth, but it's possible because it's within that same uh, kind of similar orbit nearby. 
I'll go ahead and stop this. I hope this is uh, somewhat helpful, and I'll provide the link in the video description.